the sun, is the most powerful source of energy known to man. Yet only within the last century have we begun to understand how to harness this energy for ourselves. And for one small village far in the Amazon rainforest, this energy could be the beginning of a new chapter. Pelelu Tepu, or simply referred to as Tepu, is a village community situated along the Tapanahoni River in the southern interior of Surinama and belongs mostly to the Trio tribal people. The village has approximately 400 inhabitants and like many other indigenous villages, the inhabitants of Tepu rely on diesel power generators for electricity. However, this is an unreliable source of energy due to the high cost of transport of this fuel. The solar energy is better than a generator. Although we have a generator, there is no fuel. That's why it was important for me to help pursue the installation of solar panels. And it's even more important for me that the children in the village are able to study in the evening. I started to work with the generator in 1981. It has been 35 years up till now. We have a generator here, but a lot of times we don't have any oil. Everything the forest cannot provide must be flown in by airplane. But the TRIO people are eager to improve their lives and the need to develop their community and improve their living standards relies on a long-term and reliable energy source. The Amazon Conservation Team led a project to bring renewable solar energy to the people of Tepu. The Japan-Caribbean Climate Change Partnership is designed to strengthen the capacity of countries in the Caribbean to invest in climate change mitigation and adaptation technologies. In Suriname, Pelelatepu is the first pilot village where the project is established. It will change the lives of our community to have a constant source of energy. Maybe the people need to work or do chores at night. The project started in the spring of 2017 and took several months and participation from many village members to complete it. The construction of the large solar panel array was carried out by Surinamese contractor Interdata and Fei. Adaptation and mitigation technology investments such as solar farms are important to reduce the impact of climate change by reducing carbon emissions. These technologies will also help reduce the dependency on fossil fuel import. Not only would the Amazon Conservation Team provide for the construction of the main solar power plant, but they would also train the people of Tepu to service and maintain the system and place the success of the community within the hands of the community itself and empower them. Meet Anna and Ketura, two women who were selected by the Amazon Conservation Team Suriname in 2015 to be sent far from their humble homes in the Amazon to India for a women's solar training provided by Barefoot College. This decision came from within their Women Empowerment Program. I feel very good about this job. I'm working and as I go, I learn. I would love to have more training to increase my knowledge. I feel my job is very important because I went abroad to study for my development and education. Mm -hmm. 
I want to invite the women to come and learn and watch what I do. The training I followed is not just for me, but for all of us at the village. The women are not only servicing the system, but they are also sharing their knowledge and training their fellow community members how to properly create new connections and install hardware. The work that the village Tepu has put in the project has a value of 25,000 US dollars. UNDP gave 50,000 US dollars under the JCCCP project, and ACT sought other donor funds to put into the project. What we have here has a value of 350,000 US dollars, including the contribution of the government of Suriname that still has to be calculated. One of the one of the ways of, of leaving people behind is in fact to leave them in the dark. And we're very happy that this project is aimed at bringing electricity and uh, a renewable source of energy. I want to take this opportunity to thank the people and the government of Japan for supporting this project across the Caribbean. In the village, a solar commission was established consisting of the government of Sudinama, tribal village representatives, and representatives of local consumers. The Commission must ensure the sustainability of the project and regular energy consumption for the 88 households. Payment will be based on a system the locals prefer. I think it's great that we have electricity. It is very important to us. I also help along with managing of the solar installation. I think it's very good that the electricity is on 24 hours a day. It is especially important at night, so the children have light to study. There is a lot yet to do within the community, but I want to thank the organization involved with this solar project. I would love to see more development within my generation. This solar installation is just the beginning of many more projects together. The people of Tepu are immensely satisfied with their solar power system and Tepu is a model demonstration community for other villages. They can now enjoy round-the-clock access to electricity to make life easier and assist in their basic needs. <laughs>